Vicky, you are the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. Apart from when I married your mum, of course. <laughs> Janet and I are intensely proud of our lovely daughter and of her personal and professional achievements as any parent would be. We couldn't ask for a better daughter. Vicky, you're wonderful in every way. So, as you might expect, please can I ask you to raise a glass to Vicky. Victoria Rao Cabo. Yay! I know she likes hearing that, that's why I put that in there. For those that don't know, me and Vicky met nearly five years ago uh, on her first day working at Forest. Uh, I remember thinking to myself, wow, what a stunner. Uh, and it was that day I made a conscious decision to try and talk to her every possible opportunity. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Till death us do part. When in Leeds celebrating his birthday, we may have given him a few shots too many. And when trying, trying to get into a club, Pablo was trying his utmost best to act sober. Walk straight past the bouncer into a full size mirror. <laughs> Thank you for raising such a naturally beautiful, uh, intelligent, <laughs> but ditzy, <laughs> helpful but stubborn daughter. I honestly do not know how you did it. <laughs> Over the last few years, we've got to know Paul Betty and seen the way that Vicky looks at him. And they say, when you're happy, your mouth smiles. But when you're in love, your eyes smile with it. Well, I've seen the way Vicky's eyes smile at Paul, and I've seen the way Paul looks back at her, kind of like a puppy looks when it wants a hug. She is my, she is my everything, and has got me through some hard times that I don't honestly know I would do it without her. I thank my stars and God every day that I'm with her. All I want to do is protect, love and make you happy all the time. And I promise to do this as long as my heart is beating. Vicky, I love you and it's an honour to call you this to my wife. 